Well, we've been dealing with some very stubborn coastal fog for the last several nights. This is a look at Pismo Beach from earlier today. Those clouds were poised right offshore, waiting to move in. They've been doing that every single night. Santa Barbara, our time lapse throughout the afternoon today has looked pretty much like this for the last couple of days, and it's been a cloudy several days for the south coast. So we've been dealing with it all the way from northern San Luis Obispo County down to the southern points of Santa Barbara County. And this is what it looks like right now. We've been tracking tracking that fog throughout the afternoon and this evening. Lompoc and Santa Maria have really been getting the brunt of a lot of these low clouds. So visibility down in those areas not the greatest if you are out on the roads overnight or in the early morning hours. Those are the two times of the day that I want you guys to just be a little bit slower on those roadways. If we go down to the Santa Barbara County area, we had a whole area engulfed in clouds last night. It looks to be pushing its way south into Oxnard and Ventura right now, so a little bit more clear for places in Santa Barbara at this moment. The current temperature, though, 63 degrees, so more on the mild side. Cooler in Santa Maria in those upper 50s, and the warm spot is Paso in the 70s, which is a nice drop from the 90s we saw today. Daytime high was 96 in Paso, 92 in Shandon, and then a little bit cooler in the California Valley at just 82. We've been forecast to hit 80 in San Luis Obispo for the past couple of days, but because of the low clouds just moving into our coastal valleys, we really have not hit those numbers. 61 in Cambria over on the north coast. It's been the coolest spots in through Santa Maria. Didn't make it out of the 60s today again. And Lompoc also in those upper 60s, all due to those low clouds. So when will they clear? Not for the next couple of days. So beaches still in the low 60s, coastal valleys in those mid to low 70s, and our inland areas in the 90s, but dropping into the 80s. So Sunday really kind of kickstarts our cooling trend. How cool is it going to get? Not all that cool for the interiors. Overnight low, though, is going to be a little bit chilly. We're dropping about two degrees from last night, 49 in Paso, but low 50s to low 60s everywhere else. Now, one more day of 90s for Paso until we hit those 80s in the cooling trend we talked about, but 91 is a little bit cooler than the 96 we saw today. San Luis Obispo in the 70s, Santa Maria 70s. If we head to the north coast, we've got mid to low 60s, Avila 71, but San Miguel will be in the low 90s. Over by the five cities, we're in the low 60s for a lot of those areas, maybe some mid 60s. Shannon and the California Valley, both in the low 90s. Santa Barbara County, cooler by the coast, but we have the low 80s in Solvain and San Ynez. So back to that cooling trend I was talking about, low pressure system dominating through about Tuesday, then another ridge of high pressure building into the area. The 90s are back like that. San Luis Obispo back in the low 80s by Friday. And Santa Maria and Santa Barbara still going to be the cooler spots. We've got low clouds, low 70s, upper 60s until the weekend where we get slightly warmer in the upper 70s. Kim.